to let your faith grow as you realize that God keeps his word. Today I'm talking about one of my favorite guys in the Bible, Caleb. So in Numbers 13, 12 spies were sent out to explore the land of Canaan and bring back proof that it was a rich and fertile land. They explored and found food, amazing amounts of food, grape clusters and figs and and pomegranates, everything so heavy that men had to, two men had to carry them on poles hanging between each other. But food was not the only thing they found. They also found large fortified cities and the descendants of Anak, or the Anakites, which were giants, seven to nine feet tall, like Goliath. When they got back to report this to Moses, 10 of the 12 said, you know, do not go into this land. This is the promised land, but there's giants and fortified cities. We, we cannot take this land. But two were not afraid, Caleb and Joshua. Caleb said, uh, silencing the crowd, we should go up and take possession of the land, for we certainly can do it. Joshua and Caleb's faith uh, was drowned out by the lack of faith, by the fear and doubt from the other ten. And the other ten spread that doubt throughout the Israelites. And because of this lack of faith, they wandered for 40 years in the wilderness, including Caleb and Joshua. But because of Caleb and Joshua's faith, and they're, they're following God wholeheartedly, God said, I will give you this land. I promise you this land. So turning over to Joshua 14, this is, this is going into where, um, you know, uh, Caleb is inheriting his land now. It says in verse 10, Now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he said this to Moses while Israel moved about in the wilderness. So here I am today, 85 years old. I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I'm just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified. But the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. Caleb was not rewarded for sitting around and waiting for God. He was rewarded for following God wholeheartedly, for his zeal, for his patience. He did, he did not become a couch potato Christian waiting for God, waiting for God to fulfill anything. He followed him wholeheartedly for 45 years, trusting God to keep his word, to keep his promise. Sometimes God doesn't answer a prayer the day after you pray. But are you willing to follow God patiently, you know, faithfully, wholeheartedly, for an unknown amount of time until God fulfills that promise. Let your faith grow during these times as you realize that God keeps his word. So now what?